today we're going to be going over how to get your machine up and running. The first thing we're going to do is make sure the lock bolt on the front of the machine is snugged up. The next step is to make sure the hydraulic pump is engaged. It has an automatic bleed off, so don't worry about adding too much pressure. After the hydraulic pump is engaged, then attach your air supply to the diaphragm pump. The air supply should be between 40 and 60 psi. Now attach the suction and discharge hoses to the crossroad separator and diaphragm pump. The hoses have a male and female cam lock so they cannot be put on incorrectly. We are now going to pre-charge the extractor. To do this, simply put the nozzle into the water jet catch tank under the surface of the water but out of the garnet. After the nozzle is in the water, turn the air on. The vacuum in the extractor chamber will start to build and you will begin seeing water filling up the chamber. This process should take about 5 to 10 minutes. After the extractor chamber is filled with water, the cadence of the pump will slow down and the large bowls in the water jet catch tank go away. At this point, the machine is filled and ready for garden removal. The 3030 gauge should read between 8 and 12 HG. 